Hey guys, jump on the server. Hi Donald, what are we doing today? Today we have plans to play together with Elon Musk, but I don't know if Joe has been able to contact him. Also, our goal today is to build a workable rocket. Hey guys, yes, I was able to get in touch with Elon and he will be joining us very soon. I'm looking forward to it. I have a lot of interesting questions for it. You don't always get a chance to talk to a genius. It's a good thing we're presidents and we can talk and play with absolutely anyone. I'll tell you a secret, Donald. He refused to play at first because he knew you were going to play with us. Don't lie to me, asshole. I will personally ask Elon about the truthfulness of what you say. And if it turns out not to be true in front of Elon, you will be a dumb jerk. So either take it back or burn with shame in front of Elon. Calm down, Donald. It's just a joke. You don't have to ask Elon anything. I'll think about asking or not asking, but for now, my desire to embarrass you in front of Elon is far greater than my desire to forgive you. Don't you dare ask anything, you bastard. You'll be sorry if you do. Hi, guys. I'm very glad to hear from you again. I've met each of you in person once, but that was a long time ago and only for work matters. And now you called me to play in Minecraft. Let's have a great time. Ask any questions you are interested in. Hi, Elon. It's great to hear from you again, too. Hi, Elon. I already have a very interesting question that will be related to Joe. I'm listening. Hi, Elon. You're finally joining us. I hope we have a really good time. Elon, is it true that you didn't want to play with us because you found out that I was going to play with you? I did not say that. I am pleased to communicate and play with all of you. And if any person is not pleasant to me, then I let that person know that it is so. Show him Elon. Let him know you don't like Donald. Shut up, Joe. Joe's probably just kidding around. So never mind, Donald. Let's have a better conversation. I have many different interesting questions that I have wanted to ask you for a long time. The first question is, what do you think about the existence of other civilizations in the vastness of space? Is there other life in space? No one knows for sure if there are other civilizations in space, because space is very poorly explored. But in the vastness of our solar system, I can answer with confidence that once there could be life there, or these planets are at the stage of formation for the emergence of living organisms on it. At one time, our planet was absolutely as dead as the other planets in the solar system. The planets in the solar system are constantly changing their positions, either moving farther away from the sun or closer to it. That is why our planet will face complete extinction in the distant future, as sad as this may sound. That is why we are constantly studying other planets in order to try to colonize the planets of our solar system in the future. But for now, it is impossible to exist on them autonomously. There must always be a supply of air and other resources. By 2029, we will try to send the first man to Mars for a detailed study. There's certainly a chance of getting humans there. Your ambition really amazes me, Elon. I'm sure you are the future of the planet. Thank you for your response. I'm reminded of a very funny story. When we were playing Minecraft, Donald asked me, What's the big meeting you're having in two hours? And I initially refused to say, but then Donald offered me diamonds in exchange for my answer. And I jokingly decided to say that I was going to Area 51, the first meeting with the aliens. I was so realistic about it that Donald really believed what I said. Yes, that damn old man has incredible improvisation. He even came up with the name of the planets of other civilizations. Donald, what makes you so sure it was a joke? Maybe Joe changed his mind at the last minute and told you it was a joke, and it was actually true. Don't tell my secret, Elon. Oh, you damn cheapskate, Joe. Are you telling me you double-crossed me and everything you said is actually true? If I had really told you the truth, then obviously I wouldn't have said so much secret information in the video. You could have known it was a joke when I started my joke about the secret meeting in Area 51. Fuck you, asshole. I forgot at the time that we had video recording on. I managed to build a working rocket, and right now I'm flying it into space. But I'll probably jump off it because there is no space in Minecraft, and that's a pity. It would be very cool if it was possible to fly into space. Yes, there really isn't enough of a solar system in Minecraft. It would greatly diversify the usual Minecraft. By the way, the idea of making a miniature space in Minecraft sounds very nice and quite feasible. I want to turn to Mojang. I'm ready to participate in the development of an exact copy of miniature space in Minecraft. Wow, that's quite a statement, Elon. It's quite possible that Mojang will contact you after this appeal. After all, it would be hard to turn down an offer from such a brilliant man. It's nice to see the addition of space to Minecraft. It's not certain, but I think Mojang won't turn down Elon Musk's offer. Come on, guys. I'm not going to insist that they add space to Minecraft. I just decided to offer. And in case Mojang sees the video with my words, I will not refuse to cooperate. I have another interesting question for you, Elon. What predictions can you make for the year 2100? What technologies will be available by that time? This is a rather interesting question. 
and I think humanity will have changed a lot by then. Personally, I have a 100% guarantee that man will visit Mars maybe on some other planet. I am also confident that we will be able to create tourist flights into space that are absolutely accessible to everyone. In doing so, people will be able to live in apartment complexes in space hotels, where they will be able to observe our planet from space. It's just unbelievable, Elon. If indeed everyone can visit space, I've dreamed all my life of going to space, but I'm not likely to live to 2100, especially since there will obviously be health restrictions on flying, and at my age, flying is unlikely to be available by then. I think we will have accomplished this goal even sooner than by 2100. I won't live long enough to see it, but that's okay, because my children will be able to go to space, and I'm very glad they'll have that opportunity. If life after death exists, then we will see the cosmos before anyone else does LOL. Who knows, maybe there really is life after death. If there is another life after we die, obviously Joe and Donald will be reborn as ants. Shut up, asshole. I don't believe in reincarnation. Shut up, Barack. You'll be lucky if you become an earthworm. That's the most you deserve in your next life. Don't swear, guys. Every one of us deserves something in this life. I'm just kidding. And these two jerks, as usual, took my words seriously. I'd like to ask you a question, Elon. Do you believe in immortality scientifically? Is it possible to make human life a little longer by using drugs, injections, and any other gadgets? Unfortunately, I am not an expert in medicine. But judging by how fast medicine is developing, it is possible to make human life a little longer. But it is unlikely to achieve perfect immortality. These are natural biological processes, and they can hardly be stopped in any way. It would be great if a person could live to be at least 150 years old. At the same time, at the age of 100, he would stay young enough. I hope that medicine will get to the point where it can make human life longer and more painless. If medicine ever reaches the point where people can live up to 150 years, it would cost a lot of money and the average person would not be able to afford it. Let's hope that if there is ever a cure for prolonging life, it will be available to absolutely everyone, whether they are poor or rich. This is really a very important problem in our world. Not everyone can afford expensive medicine, and such people are forced to refuse treatment and end up dying. Medicine should fight to make medicine as accessible as possible, and best of all, it should be free to all. Every day medicine steps forward, and because it is very difficult to produce a cure, scientists resort to the fact that it takes a lot of money, and that is why drugs have such a high cost. Yes, you're really right, Joe. I'm sure that someday, scientists will find ways to make drugs in a more affordable way. With modern equipment, which is improving every day, I think it's feasible. I bet you can't subscribe to the channel. What makes you think they can't do it? They have their hands. That's not the point, asshole. They won't want to look at your ugly face, you ugly old fart. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Have you seen yourself? You're the freak. You're the one they won't want to look at. I'm not handsome, but I'm much prettier than you, you ugly old fart.